Hello, I'm here with uh, Daryl Lefever, the producer of Unplanned, just after the Ballarat uh, premiere. And uh, Daryl, this was the first time that I've seen it. It was pretty powerful and uh, I was quite shaken by it. It's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. That is a, a typical response. Uh, people are, are go into it with a bit of uh, trepidation because they know what the subject matter is, uh, being, you know, about abortion. But uh, when they come out, they're really glad they saw it. Yeah, I'm certainly glad that I saw it. I was already pro-life before it, but after, well, especially the beginning, it's like it's quite graphic showing the abortion procedure. But that's mm -hmm. what it is. It's I, I couldn't imagine anyone coming out and still being pro-abortion. Yeah, that has been the response. In in America, we had what was called the unplanned challenge, and we asked uh, pro-life people to challenge and a pro-choice friend to come see the film and they would buy their ticket for him. And we had countless people that uh, went into the film pro-choice and would email us afterwards or Facebook message us afterwards and say, I came out of the film pro-life. Once you, once you showed me what Abby saw, uh, what Abby Johnson, Abby Johnson saw in the film, you just, you just can realize that it's a real baby. You can no longer call it a, a tumor or, or a clump of cells or something that doesn't have any feeling. It's, it's a baby. So. And this is a, a dramatization of Abby's journey from being a abortion counselor to becoming a, a pro-life activist. I felt when I when I was watching it, she she knows deep down that what what's happening is is wrong, but it it takes obviously a process to to get there. Right. It really was the moment because she she worked there for eight years, mm. and she worked her way up from being a volunteer to being the director of the clinic. And in that time period, she never actually watched an abortion happen. And this particular doctor uh, used a sonogram machine as part of his procedure, which is not typical. Less than 5% of abortions are uh, conducted that way. But this particular doctor wanted it done that way and they didn't have an extra hand. So she got a knock on her office door because she was in the admin side, you know, hiring and making sure the schedules worked. And they asked her to come back and help. And she was like, of course, willing to help. So she goes back and she holds the wand and she ends up watching the abortion take place on the sonogram machine. And she comes undone because she realizes that the, the baby tried to move away from the catheter and lumps of cells don't do that. Uh, tumors don't do that. They don't try to move away from what's trying to, uh, to extract them. So, so yes, that's what got her. Uh, like I said, that scene's right at the beginning and it's very powerful. Now, of course, it, it's a movie, and so there's a villain in the in the movie, mm. and that's the the Planned Parenthood director. Was in Abby's experience, was she as cold in saying we need to increase our abortions? Because it seems like it's, it's such a horrible thing that you'd say that openly that we want more and more. Right, and that was what that was kind of the first chink in the armor for for Abby. Like when that happened. It was the first thing that was that got her to realize that this is actually about money because she got into Planned Parenthood because they convinced her they were about helping women. And Abby always wanted to help women. That's why she got into it in the first place. And when that directive came down, that, uh, that really started to make her think about what was actually happening behind the doors at Planned Parenthood. And it was all real. That's what Planned Parenthood says to their uh, internal employees and volunteers. She has the memo, <laughs> at least at that time. I can't say that they try to double their numbers every year, but at that particular time, yes, that was the mandate that came down, that she was to double her abortion numbers. Now, obviously, this isn't a big Hollywood uh, production. Uh, it's not something that they'd ever go near. Obviously, to uh, produce a film such as this, it takes money and investors, and then obviously getting the, the screenplay right, the, the right actors, making sure that it is a, a movie that engages people and also impresses the critics as well. There's a lot to, to do. Right, yeah, we had to raise the money. We raised the money all the way up until right before we started shooting, we're still raising money. And all of our investors are just pro-life people that really wanted to help us get the word out. Uh, and then we raised an, another uh, several million dollars to promote the film in the United States. So, and all of those people, we have, we all together, we have almost 50 investors in the film and every one of them did it because their, their heart was for really seeing this story being shared. 
Now, obviously, there, there's been some victories for the pro-life movement in the, in the United States, in Alabama and, and Georgia. I, it's quite a, unpleasant being a, a pro-life activist uh, in Australia because we've just had so many defeats. Not mm -hmm. only in most states now do we have abortion up until birth, but we also have exclusion zones now where you can't even offer information uh, to women. And so it's, it'd be really good if this film could get a, a wide audience because there seems to be a pro-abortion consensus here where it's just seen as as the uh, as the the pro-abortion movement say it's healthcare or medical procedure there people don't think that it's it's got all of the gory aspects to it mm. now it really is it, it's bizarre as a person that that you know realizes what's actually happening I mean animals don't even abort their own young in the womb you know it's 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 barbaric Really, mm. you know, when you when you think about the mechanics of what actually happens, that a that a baby that is formed with fingers and toes and a heartbeat and has brain waves is literally being ripped apart out of a mother's womb, it's it's insane. You know, it's like if 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 people would just step back for just a second and just think about the reality of what we're talking about, but instead, it's simply, well, I'm pregnant and I don't want to be pregnant, right? And this is a solution. But that's not really a solution. Ending another life is not a solution. There are other options. Yeah, definitely. And that's what a lot of people misunderstand about the, uh, the pro-life movement is that we're there to assist any way possible. It doesn't matter how the pregnancy happened. A mother should be supported right. about it. Right. No, exactly. Um, yeah, so that's what, that's what all the, we, we reached out to so many ministries in America as well. And we're reaching out to the, the same kind of ministries here in Australia to really uh, try to activate them, to be encourage them uh, that there is hope. We, we, since the movie came out in America, the number of people that have uh, volunteered their time and have volunteered funds towards pro-life causes has definitely spiked. Uh, and we, we're, we're very thankful for that. And uh, like you said, uh, we want as, as many people to see this as possible. Uh, how is the, the best way for, for people to, to view it? Well, hopefully we'll get in theaters. We're still working on a distributor right now, um, hoping that a distributor would be brave enough to put the film into theaters in Australia. Um, you can also go to change.org, and there's a website called, uh, there's a, a petition called Show uh, the, and then it's at sign or ampersign, unplanned movie, all one word, in cinemas in Australia. Um, and if you find that, it has, it's the one that has over 12,000 signatures already. So that's the one you want to sign. Um, that would help to, uh, to give us a sort of ammunition to take to distributors say, yes, people here are interested in seeing this film. Uh, and, um, and yeah, and, and you can even follow us on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Unplanned Movie Australia. And um, we'll continue to update about when it's going to be in theaters um, and, uh, and what theaters are going to be showing it. So. Well, I'm glad you decided to, to tour here. Like I said, we, we definitely uh, need uh, you to come and promote this movie. And li like I said, it's, it's very powerful. So the more people see it, mm. hopefully we can reach a, a turning point uh, in Australia. So thank you so much for uh, producing it and, and visiting us here in Australia. Yeah, we love Australia. So my wife and I lived here in the past and we, uh, we love being here and we're thrilled to come back and, and show the film here and get to see friends and see uh, the cities that we that we lived in before and how they've grown so so yeah it's been a really fun experience and uh, yes I'm hoping that we'll be back again for a premiere <laughs>